public reason is a particular concept that was introduced by an American philosopher after World War II named John Rawls, which he uses to refer to the kind of reasons that um, uh, citizens, ideal, idealized citizens would use. And the basic idea is that citizens in a properly functioning democracy would know that citizens hold a variety of different beliefs and principles, some religious, some non-religious, and probably different kinds of religious views. And so for given this fact of what Rawls calls reasonable pluralism, when they are convening together, when they are conferring together, when they're doing shura to make with the goal of making a rule for themselves, they're not going to debate based on uh, the truth of their different views. So a, a Muslim is not going to appeal to the truth of Islam. A Catholic is not going to appeal to the truth of Catholicism. A Jew will not appeal to the truth of the Torah. The reason being that each one of them knows that the people he's trying to persuade don't accept the truth of those sources, at least not in the same way. Right. So accordingly, uh, when we confer to make rules, we're going to use reasons that we have good reason to think that the other person will find reasonably persuasive to that person. Right. And we'll avoid using reasons that are um, inaccessible to others. Right. That are only make sense given our own faith premises. Right. Okay, so that's sort of what Rawls calls public reason. A lot of Muslims might initially find that to be a bit off-putting. Why shouldn't I be able to use the truth of Islam to advance my positions, right? Um, but I think, you know, there are lots of situations in Islamic jurisprudence, for example, where you find that people make arguments without necessarily appealing to the truth of their positions, right? So. Uh, in, in jurisprudence, there's a whole genre called Ilm al-Ikhtilaf, the science of different, of, of different opinions. Um, one of the things that jurists did in that was they didn't necessarily argue about the truth of the various opinions of the jurists. Um, oftentimes they would adopt the positions of the other party for purposes of debate and then interrogate those positions and give reasons as to why that opinion, the opposing opinion, doesn't really make sense, right? Um, and then likewise, in terms of making decisions for use in courts and, you know, other sort of government institutions, jurists talked about a doctrine of, you know, what they called siyasa sharia, mm -hmm. right? Um, and there, the issue was what opinion was considered to be the best, the most consistent with the public good, not necessarily what was uh, true in terms of um, uh, of uh, revelation, right? Uh, so um, I think you can find lots of antecedents uh, for reasoning that is similar to what Rawls deems to be public reason mm -hmm. in our tradition. Mm 